Hi and hello everybody. Most of you would have heard about the Blink software or the website which allows a user to control their Arduino devices from Apple devices or other Android mobile phones or Android devices. So there, there are two ways in which they allow this to be done. One is by running their, through their own servers, the Blink server and they also allow a user to create their own Blink local server. So today we'll be seeing as to how you can create a local Blink server from start to finish. So let's get started. You need a set of files. The first one is your uh, Java JDK file, Java development kit, a minimum version of eight. The links for all these files, I, I have attached them in the description of this video. So depending upon uh, your system configuration, say whether if your uh, system is a 32-bit uh, system or a 64-bit system, please download and uh, install the files accordingly. And as well as other files that you require are the mail.properties, server.properties, server, .properties, server, .properties, server, .uh, server the jar file, which is of course the Blink server file. And then uh, I have created a text file which has the commands for installing the SSL certificates and then uh, the Blink uh, libraries for the Arduino and the software for installing the SSL certificates. <clears throat> so first and foremost, you download the Blink server, the server-o.15.2.jar file and then you save it into a suitable directory. I have created the Blink server directory under users and my name and you need to create it in a location where you, do, you don't need administrative access to edit them. Say just in users, you need administrative access. In a C folder, you might need administrative access. So create it in a folder or a location which is common to all the users of your system. Say probably D drive or any other drive. So I have, say copy the server file. And then download it to the folder that you just created. So, so far uh, this part is done. And next what you need to do is uh, set up the Java JDK, uh, install the Java JDK file. Uh, once you are done with that, uh, you will have the file in either, in either the program files or program uh, x86 depending upon the version that you downloaded mine will be minus a 64 bit system so it will be under programs go to the java folder under programs you can see here go into the jdk 1.8 and go into the bin folder copy the bin uh, click on the address bar and copy this address location copy it and now come back to the my computer and choose properties, advanced system settings, under system properties choose advanced tab and in the advanced tab choose environment variables and then system variables scroll down and choose the path, path variable, edit and press home button or go to the first uh, first character of the variable value and paste your path there whatever we copied the java path and then terminate it with a semicolon click ok so now our system is capable of uh, running java in command prompt and next uh, take the mail.properties file and mail.server files uh, sorry, the uh, server.properties and mail.properties then add it to the Blink server. There are two ways of going about it. You can uh, you can create your own mail.properties uh, file and server.properties file. I'll show you as to how it is done. Open command prompt in uh, as an administrator. And now change to the directory of your Blink server. And in this type echo 
space greater than mail dot properties press enter and again type server dot properties sorry the echo now you can see the two files are created uh, just don't close the command prompt yet so the two files are created now you can copy the contents of the file that you downloaded copy the contents of this into the file that you just created mail.properties remove the echo is on remove that and here you need to type in your uh, gmail id and password type your gmail id and password open the server.properties copy everything copy it in the server.properties in your blink server here uh, i have set the http port to 80 mine works in 80 if you want you can change it to 80 80 by default that is what the blink makers have asked to do they have asked to run the server in 80 80 I tried running it, uh, the ports were being already used by some other uh, applications, so I changed it to 80. I'll show you as to how you can identify that. Okay. Now we already have the command prompt here. So run the server file here Java jar server hyphen o dot 0 dot 15 dot 2 dot jar space hyphen data folder space slash path Now you can see that uh, server ports are busy or it says most probably server is already launched. So which means the ports are being already used and hence I changed the server uh, pro in the pro server.properties folder I changed the HTTP port to 80. So you, you also do so accordingly as soon as we start running the server you can see there are two more files the logs and the admin. Open the log file and open the blink file you can see you have so many errors. I'll show you as to how you can fix all these. So we'll start by fixing the SSL certificate error. So run the uh, Win32 or Win64 open SSL, uh, whichever is suitable for you based on your system configuration. Mine is a Windows 64 bit. So I ran the Windows 64 open SSL. Choose yes. Choose next, choose I accept agreement. Next, just uh, remember this folder here. Okay. Click next, next. And here you should be careful. Please choose the open SSL binaries uh, bin directory and choose next. Remove the donation thing if you like to donate please donate and open the my computer again properties advanced system settings environment variables and in system variables just scroll down and you need to have this here open ssl underscore conf uh, open ssl bin 64 bin open ssl dot uh, cfg if you don't have this uh, create new create the uh, variable name open uh, SSL underscore uh, CONF and call, just paste the path I'll show you where it is C folder under C folder you have this open SSL uh, win64 open that and in bin 
click on the address bar press black shares and here you go here you have this configuration file copy this and here in advanced system settings in environment variables choose new open SSL underscore CONF and under variable value you paste this and click OK mine is already there so I'm not doing it through all this time now we are going to self generate SSL certificates you need to have the command prompt in administrator mode and then the default directory should be the blink server directory whichever you are uh, in whichever directory you are installing the server that should be the directory uh, which should be displayed in your command prompt okay and then uh, you would have downloaded uh, this file called the SSL com uh, CMD commands txt open that copy and paste this line by line in your command prompt and next here you change the location of the config file to the location that we copied location of the config file it is here open SSL bin 64 bin backslash uh, copy this location folder location and paste it in your paste it within the codes here copy this okay now now is the interesting part it will start asking you inputs like whichever country you are uh, and then it generates the certificate depending on it i suggest you enter some details give your email address and challenge password it doesn't matter anyway and now this comes back to the blink server folder here copy paste the third line it says signature okay getting private key so this is almost done finish off with the last key here don't type anything just press enter twice it says done please don't type anything just press enter twice now the SSL part is done. We have generated the SSL certificates. So let's close this. We don't require this anymore. If you now see you see the, your Blink server folder, you will have these extra files here. Server underscore embedded dot CRT dot CSR dot key dot pem. And I hope you you don't have made any changes to the server dot SSL. It should look like this. And nothing in the pass and nothing in the host just this should be fine now the SSL part is done let's try running the server again
server has started to stop the server press ctrl c everything has stopped now open the log files logs blink see if you see here uh, we had all these errors first because of the uh, ssl certificates and now there is nothing uh, just a warning uh, don't mind that warning so we are we are good and next step is to configure our uh, mail.properties file here change your username to your uh, gmail id and give your uh, gmail id password close and save open up your accounts page in uh, google accounts page you need to allow uh, unsecure apps to send emails so go into the sign in and security if you have a two step password click on app passwords generate a new password select app choose other and click on generate here and you you will get a password copy that and this will be the password which you need to use in the mail dot properties for your uh, gmail id or just if uh, if your uh, account is just a normal account without any two step verification under sign in and security just scroll down till you will reach the bottom and just turn this on allow less secure apps on normally it will be off just turn this on so that you get your mail from your blink server so in just in case if you are uh, running avast avast antivirus please disable the ssl uh, certification in that click on the gear icon on your top right choose uh, active protection and click on customize under mail shield click on ssl scanning and remove the check mark here now after you fix the avast or the antivirus issue before running the blink app in your android phone or uh, apple phone you need to take a note of the ip address in which the server is running go to the network and sharing settings go to the adapter mine is being uh, connected through the soft ap so i choose this click on uh, right click and choose status and then details and take a note of the ip4 address here now pick up your uh, phone open the blink app now we have opened our uh, blink app yeah, i am using an android phone so this is how the layout will be click on create new account input your email id and password and then choose, click on the icon just above the sign up and normally this will be in blink uh, position just change it to custom input the ip address and the port port should be 8443 click ok and press sign up and now we'll verify as to whether we are getting tokens click on the plus icon refresh and a new token will be generated click email and if you don't have any problems it will say sent and i have got the token here so next uh, let us move move back to the computer and i'll show you as to how you can auto start the server when your window starts and then i'll show you as to how you can create your arduino blink server libraries now we just verified that our app is working fine our server is working fine so let me just stop the server copy the command with which you start your server copy this press echo paste paste that command whatever you copied 
greater than say blink auto dot bat batch file so this is just like how we created a mail dot properties or server dot properties press enter and now if you open your blink server you should have your blink dot auto bat file so we are finished with the command prompt window now so we can close this window from the start menu choose run and under run choose a uh, shell is to start up and click ok this is our uh, startup program menu right click choose new shortcut click on browse go to your uh, location where the blink server is and then select blink auto dot bat click ok click next and finish now the blink server will start whenever the window starts close it open the blink auto just to check server is working fine so the batch file works terminate the batch job yeah okay last part uh, extract the blink underscore bo.3.4 zip file extract it to your arduino library location copy documents arduino libraries and here paste it and extract it here i have already done that so i'll just give you a steward now you will have separate folders the blink uh, blink esp8266 uh, hard ace er and uh, soft ace are all the stuff you can delete this so we are done so that's it guys so that is how you create a local blink server just in case if you have any doubts uh, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below it will promote a healthy discussion and if you like the video and if you find the video to be useful and informative please subscribe for more such videos thank you